Hi guys, in the previous lecture we have built this products.html page, we have inserted these products and now in this lecture we are gonna create this technology.html page and this technology.html page have two sections, first section is this and the second section is this and this section have the width 33%, this section have the width 66% so what we need to do, we just need to create the two divs in the content area and first div have the 66% width, second have the 33% width and we have to put the content and now here I want to tell you something that in the technology.html the header is same, the footer is same, the background is same so you know what you need to do you, we just need to copy the code of the header and the footer and we have to make the, make the menu here I'm gonna create a new page and then save it as here is I'm gonna save it with the name of technology.html.html and then here I'm gonna copy the same code here first of all we need to copy the doc type we also need this title meta and we also need these links to the CSS files because we have to apply the style in the technology.html this body main and we also need this header here it is and here is this and then after it we need the footer code and the closing tags of the body and the main here is copy this and here is this is the footer and here it is and now there is a footer header and all the things are okay and here I'm gonna show you this thing here is reload it so we have to give the links here is we have to give the link of technology.html in every page here is the technology.html and here is copy it save it and here is and here is in the home page we also need technology.html when we are on the home so we when we click on the technology option so it goes to the technology when we are on the products page so we click on the technology it goes to the technology page and save it and reload it and here is the technology so this page is open and we have to collect this class here is we have to cut this class current class from here and give it here save it and now here in between this header and footer I'm gonna create this thing that is the content area code we need these two things we need this section section containers it have the class container and then this div row div and here is its closing tag this content background class is just given to create the background here is this so in this we will create all of the content all of these two sections so first of all here in the technology page we will create a div that whose class is wrapper so it will contain these two sections first of all here write a div and give it the class wrapper here is the wrapper and then here is the closing tag of it and then inside this wrapper div we will place both of these sections so now I'm gonna create this section and here is first of all right section after is here is the closing tag of the section and here is class adjust for and now it have the 66 percent width in this I'm gonna place a div who have the class wrap code and to create a distance between it and the content here is the div 
that cool and here is the div and now here in between this first of all I'm gonna place the h2 anchor tag here is h2 and here is agro technology and now here I'm gonna check it here it is present and now we will make this part for so now for this part we have to make another div here I'm gonna make it inside this after the heading here is the div and here is the class here I'm gonna give it the closing tag of it class name is wrapper and here is the p2 to give the padding on the bottom side here you see that this is the padding and then here is the hr border one here is the hr border one and then here i'm gonna put the image src and here is images page three here is image one dot jpg and here is the class here is image intent to give it the padding and now here i'm gonna give a description list here is the description list and now here first of all I'm gonna give a class extra wrap here is the extra wrap to give it overflow hidden and the other properties display block and here I'm gonna give definition list one we have already defined the style for it and now here I'm gonna give the definition term description term and in between this we have to give the anchor tag because when we take the mouse over the text so it will show the link and here I'm gonna paste the text I'm gonna copy this text and paste it here and now after this here we have to place the dd that is the description here it is dd and here is the dd and now i'm gonna copy this here it is so now here is the description list image is present here is the div so we have already defined the styles for all the thing but here I'm gonna check the P2 whether we define the padding for the P2 or not here it is not present so I'm gonna define the padding by using the P2 class here is the 15 pixel padding on the bottom side and now here let's check it so here it is inserted the padding on the bottom side text is fine and now here we have to add the space on the left side of this text this is the padding so i'm gonna give it a class to this paragraph to this description here is i'm gonna add class and here is paired left here is paired left means padding on the left side and now i'm gonna define here I'm gonna use that paired left here it is and padding padding left side 35 pixel here is a 35 pixel and now let's check it 
so here it is created and now what I am going to do I am going to create this thing and this thing what we need to do we just need to copy and paste the code again and we just need to change the names of the images and here I am going to copy the code here is we have to copy this div from the wrapper and then we have to paste it after it and here is images 2 and then here it is paste after it again inside the adjust for div this is the closing tag of the adjust for div here you can see that wrap call and the adjust for is here so now here is the 3 and now here let's execute it so here all are inserted now we have to create the read mode button here so let's start here I'm gonna we have to paste the read mode button code here after it and I'm gonna copy that code from here here it is it is present here I'm gonna copy it and then paste it here it is same at all place and now here it is created and now we have to create this side and this side have the width its section have the width 33 percent so now let's start to create it now let's start here after this section here I'm gonna create the next section here it is and here it's closing tag here is the section and here I'm gonna give it the class adjust 3 it have the 33 percent width adjust 3 and now here I'm gonna give the div class wrap call call and here is the div and then here I'm gonna reduce it and now here first of all I'm gonna create the heading h2 and here is the h2 and here is the quality standards standards and here is semicolon and now after it we have to create the div and the inside that div we will put this numbers and these paragraphs and all the things and here I'm gonna start it here is the class wrapper to wrap the all the content and overflow is hidden and all the things and here I'm also gonna give it HR border 1 to make to create the border here I'm gonna show you where the border is and here you can see that the border is pre present so this border is going to be created by using this and here first of all I'm gonna create the number here is the span in this span first of all I'm gonna put the number here is 0 1 and here I'm gonna give it the class drop cap and by using this class we will adjust its font size and the font weight this is the number and now I'm gonna create this text here I have already copied it and now here I'm gonna paste it here so now the first text is inside a div here I'm gonna make a div here it is and here is the class here is the extra wrap and here is the pad padding from the top side and here is this and now here first of all I'm gonna place this first line inside 
a separate paragraph and here it is class p0 so now we can make its padding from the bottom zero here i want want to show you why we give the padding top to this div here you see that there is a padding on the top side of these paragraphs here it is so this is giving by using this class and now here what's the functionality of this p0 to make the padding zero on the bottom side here you see that this red line and this gray line have not the padding between themselves so th this is make zero by using this class p0 and here i'm gonna give it the strong here i'm gonna give it strong and here i'm gonna give it the class string one to give it the different color here you can see that it have the different color and now this is the first paragraph here is the div and now the second paragraph is this second line is in an other paragraph here it is and here is the p2 and then here it is here this is the p here it is and now let's execute it here it is it is present and now I'm gonna give the style to the text then it will be okay here is the paragraph and here it is and now let's give it the styles adjust 3 is already given all the styles are given first of all I'm gonna give the style to the drop cap here is the drop cap and here in the style here I'm gonna give the styles here is the drop cap here is the parentheses here first of all give the float to the left side and then here is the font family is the passion one here is the passion one and here is the font size is 24 pixel and here is the line height is 30 pixel and here is the color is become like red here is the b3 0404 here it is and now here is the margin is just from the left side 0 and 0 and now let's execute it so here it is and now I will give the rest of the styles in the next video so thank you for watching this video I will see you in the next video